Hello, I'm Cassie Knoll. This week on Suncoast FYI, University Park Dermatology, Valspar Golf Championship, Kobernick House Assisted Living, and we'll take a field trip to sample some chocolate treats. All next on Suncoast FYI. Thanks for joining us today on Suncoast FYI. If you are looking for treatment for a medical skin condition or just want to achieve a more youthful look, University Park Dermatology and Medical Spa has state-of-the-art solutions for your wants and needs. Here to tell us more is Kimberly Snyder. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. So tell me a little bit about cool sculpting. Cool sculpting is a procedure where basically um, we use controlled cooling mm -hmm. to freeze the fat. And um, after the fat's been treated, um, it dies in about two to three days after the treatment. And it takes anywhere between, I'd say, one month up to three months for you to see results with the um, treatment after you've had it done. Wow. Yeah. So do you have yeah. to go for multiple stages of this treatment? Depending on how much areas need to be treated or uh -huh. how much um, areas of opportunity needed, need reduction, uh -huh. um, you get about a 20 to 25 percent reduction with each treatment. Wow, I like so, how you call them areas of opportunity. Yes. To be, <laughs> to be reduced there. Yeah. So, so the results that one can expect, uh -huh. what, what do you see? 20 to 25 percent. Every so, single time. Every time. So it's that consistent. Is impressive. So if you're a little bit on the heavier side, you can do two to three treatments and really knock down, um, really knock down the fat in that area. So where does the fat go after it, it dies? Your body just absorbs it and then it gets eliminated through your natural waste. Really? It's a shame yeah. we can't just do that. <laughs> just know, naturally do that. But that's I cool know. that we have cool sculpting to help, help us it's do this. It's great. And once the fat's gone, it doesn't come back. So as long as you maintain your healthy lifestyle, you eat um, properly and you work out like you're supposed to or mm -hmm. do something. We always ask people to do something. Yeah. Um, your results should be maintained. Wow, that's really yeah. impressive. So what does it feel like? Because it sounds a little like you'd, you'd be really cold while you're it's, doing this. Um, well, you get numb. So once, and it's funny, the machine looks like similar to, to this. Uh -huh. um, you hook it onto somebody. It looks like a big vacuum. Uh huh. So as it sucks onto the area that you're treating, uh -huh. it's a little uncomfortable. Um, you get a little tingly, um, and it's just a suction on that area. Uh-huh. After, One of those areas of opportunity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> After about five minutes, uh -huh. it gets cold and numb, and then you don't feel anything. And that's that simple? That's simple. Um, you sit there for about an hour with the oh, okay. machine attached to the area. Mm -hmm. I have patients who oh. go to sleep. I have patients who do homework, who do just read books, who talk on the phone. It's oh, that comfortable. Goodness. Yeah. Wow. That sounds like something yeah. you could kind of do on your lunch break if you had an, like a two-hour lunch break. Yeah. You could go and do that. Mm -hmm. And then what, what happens afterwards? Um, when you take the machine off, the area actually looks like a stick of butter. Oh, yeah. that's a good visual. It's, it looks like a little stick of butter. Um, there's some massaging. Um, massaging. Massaging the area gives you better results uh -huh. um, in the treatment area, and it's very cold. And then after that, the patient can get up, walk around, go use the restroom, and if they have another area to do, then we hook up to the other area. Okay, so what are the risks with this? Very minimal. Um, you can drive home after the treatment. You don't need any kind of pain medicine. Um, I had my treatment. I was exercising the next day. Wow. So really just, it kind of depends on you. I always tell patients, you know, you can have some swelling. Um, you can be numb in the area. Mm -hmm. The numbing can last for about um, a month. Oh, wow. Um, but it's not bad. It's just, yeah. just kind of weird when you touch the area. Yeah. Um, you can have bruising because if you can only imagine you're being sucked up into this machine. Yeah. So um, you can have bruising to there, and that's really it. So there's not a lot of downtime then afterwards no, at all? None done, none. That is really impressive. So I guess the yeah. next question would be, how much does it cost to do this? It any, ranges anywhere from $750 on up. It just kind of depends on um, how many cycles you have to have. Okay. So to get it down to the results that you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Like myself, I had four areas treated, mm -hmm. um, so that would run about $3,000. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah. that is amazing that yeah. it... It sounds so easy, but like you said, it's a light. Mm -hmm. and you have to change so you don't bring it back. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a lot of repeat visitors? We, once you we do, do it once, then There's you... Some, yeah, you want to do different areas. So uh -huh. you can do abdomens, you can do the flanks, you can do, they call it the bra fat area, uh -huh. um, the outer thighs and the inner thighs. Okay. So, and the machine's always advancing. When it first came out, it only had one attachment. Mm -hmm. Now there's five hand pieces for it. Okay. Um, a big call was for the outer thighs. Yes. And... As you can imagine, you can't suck a outer thigh into a machine. Yeah. So it, this one just lays on the area, and 
the treatment's a little bit longer. But yeah, they've really advanced it since it first came out. I know that's definitely an area that a lot of women yes. want to work on. It is so hard to work <laughs> out that part your, of Yeah, you. this and your inner thighs. So, so it does a really nice job. So where can people go for more information? Um, our website, um, we do have it on the website, www.universitypark.com. Uh-huh. Or, I'm sorry. It's UP. UP. Yeah, the short version. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and find out more about it, definitely. All right. Well, thanks for coming on the show today. Yes, no, thank you for having me. And coming up on Suncoast FYI, a PGA Tour event is coming to the Suncoast. The details are next, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. I'm Cassie Knoll. If you enjoy watching professional golf, you'll be excited to hear that the 2015 Valspar Golf Championship is coming to our area. Joining me now is Rick Odioso to give us some of the details. So welcome. Glad to be here. So tell me a little bit about the Valspar Championship. Well, it's coming up uh, the week, March 9th to 15th, so less than two weeks away. We've got Honda this week, uh, the tournament at Doral next week, and then the tour uh, moves into our area with the Valspar Championship. Uh, it's a, a great event. We have a tremendous field of players uh, competing, uh, five of the top ten players in the world, including Henrik Stenson, who's number three, and Adam Scott, who uh, hasn't played on the tour for a while. He just had a baby, but... Uh, he's coming out, and he'll coming be, out. He'll be his uh, second tournament back will be this one. Um, for the English people in our audience, uh, uh -huh. we have the four best English golfers in the world, Justin mm -hmm. Rose, Ian Poulter, Lee Westwood, Luke Donald. Uh, we have Matt Kuchar. We have Jim Furyk. So we have a, a you know a, a, a tremendous field of PGA Tour pros. And it's all coming right here. People can actually go see it. Right. It's the closest uh, PGA Tour event to the Sarasota area. We were mm -hmm. talking earlier. It's not yeah. not that far away. It's a pretty easy drive up 19. Mm -hmm. And um, the great thing about golf tournament is it, it's an all day kind of event. Yeah. You, you can make whatever you want of it, but uh -huh. it, it's perfect for a, an, an all day excursion. Okay, so um, where is it at exactly? It's at the Innisbrook Resort. That's uh, pretty much, I mean, just up the street. If you count yeah. US 19, it goes all the way up there. It, it's uh, in Palm Harbor, mm -hmm. uh, north of Clearwater. And uh, it, it's Thursday through Sunday are the championship rounds of competition. All right, and we, we had talked about, we think it's about an hour and a half or so from Sarasota. So perfectly reasonable. And if you go up over the bridge, over the Skyway Bridge, it's a beautiful drive as well. So. Definitely something to check out, and it is within our area. Right. Um, so what is new about the tournament this year? Well, the big thing that's new about the tournament, and we've got a lot that's new because we have like 70 new sponsors. We've moved some popular attractions around. Mm -hmm. We have some other attractions. But the big thing we're trying, and if there's a day you should go, it might be Saturday because your tournament admission ticket will also get you a, uh, a seat uh, on the driving range to hear the band Perry, the popular country artists who yes. they just won a Grammy for uh, Gentle On My Mind, they're recording and uh, uh, they'll be performing uh, a concert about 7 o'clock in the evening. So. That is really exciting. I love country music. I love the band Perry. Can people that don't necessarily go to the golf tournament also come to the concert? Well, no. Nope, got to go. Uh, but, but, but again, <laughs> golf is an all-day event and the, the golf competition will last until about 6 o'clock. Uh -huh. And then give everybody some time to move people across, yeah. the, across the road and into the uh, driving range area, and that's where the concert will be. So you could arrive at the golf tournament mid-afternoon, yeah. watch a little golf, enjoy the beautiful weather, the competition and hospitality, and then head over to the concert. And so since it is an all-day event, it also sounds like it's a family event. Yes. And uh, one of the great things we have is that f kids 15 and under are absolutely free with a, uh, oh. with a p ticketed adult. So... Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it, it, there isn't a cheaper family outing around. Yeah. And uh, we have new this year uh, the J. Bill Family Fun Zone presented by Publix uh, with a 16-foot climbing wall, a oh nine-hole nine uh, putting uh, course, mm -hmm. like, like a putt-putt course, and a bunch of other things. There's going to be a bunch of mascots from uh, area teams uh -huh. and, and just a whole bunch of stuff for the kids as well. So uh, certainly if, uh, if you're a family looking, hey, what are we going to do with the kids yeah. th today? Um, check out the Valspar Championship, and then you can sneak off and watch a little golf, too. Yeah, and then afterwards you can go watch a concert. Watch I mean, concert. you really do have the full gamut. It, you, know, it, 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 you know, if you're a golfer, you, you know what a great thing a golf tournament is. Mm -hmm. uh, the great thing about golf, uh, in my estimation, as a spectator, is you can make of it what you want. Yeah. Because if you go to a a football game, you have a ticket, and it tells you where you're sitting. Yes. If you go to a golf tournament, you have a ticket that admits you to the grounds, 
and then you can find whatever you want to do. If you want to yeah. get exercise and walk around, if you want to sit in one spot and watch the players all play the same hole, if you want to go to the hospitality areas and get hospitalized, mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> go enjoy everything. Everything, everything right. So why is the Valspar Championship important to this community? Well, I think the thing that a lot of people forget is that, that we are a uh, charity-based operation. Mm -hmm. We put on this wonderful event and to, to showcase the sport of golf in the community, mm -hmm. but we also raise something on the order of close to $2 million a year for area charity. Wow. So any uh, ticket purchase you make, there's a, a sizable portion of that that goes to a Local bunch of charities. charities. Habitat for Humanity is a, a special charity that uh, we support extensively. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're the favorite charity of our title sponsor, Valspar Championship, and they're very active in the community here. So we're glad to do that. But there's a whole host of charities that participate in, in what we do, either from the charities that get the money from the parking, from the... Yeah, because uh, there's so many aspects we of have it. A, we have a Birdies for Tampa Bay Charities program that any charity in the area can get involved with the tournament. So mm -hmm. uh, that, and then we're a showcase for the community. I mean... We're on worldwide television, and again, if you were an indoor event, let's say, let's say the NCAA basketball tournament is being yeah. played here in Tampa, and that's great. But um, people only the, see the court. The, the court. When yeah. we have a blimp, we have shots going to break, yeah. shots during the tournament of what, how great it is to be in this area and in it March. It is a beautiful golf course. Right. And we're going to knock on wood. I don't have any wood on my chair, but knock on wood that that weather cooperates for you. It would be tremendous. Yes. <laughs> I'll work on that for you. Yes, work on that. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're hoping for all the tournaments in Florida. The mar month, month of March is minimally rainy, yep. usually on Mondays, and uh, that'd be great. All right, so where can people go for more information about the Valspar tournament? ValsparChampionship.com mm -hmm. has all the information on tickets. Uh, if you're a member of the U.S. military or a retired military, mm -hmm. uh, you can get free tickets. Oh, that's so, good. So uh, check that out. It's at the website. Uh, you can print your tickets right there on your printer at home and head on out to the Valspar Championship. All right. Well, that all sounds great, and good luck with your event. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Cassie. And coming up on Suncoast FYI, Kobernick House Assisted Living, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. I'm Cassie Nall. Kobernick House is a retirement community of choice for seniors who wish to spend their lives in an intellectually, physically, and spiritually rich environment. Here to tell us more about Kobernick House is the Director of Therapy Services, Elise Gordon. So welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So let's start off. Tell me a little bit about Kobernick House. Sure. So Kobernick House is situated on a campus, and it's a wonderful retirement community for seniors. And like all the things you said in our introduction, um, they're independent living facilities, Kobernick House. On campus, we also have an assisted living facility called Anshin Pavilion. Oh, okay. A memory care support assisted living, Ooh. and also a skilled nursing facility called Benderson Family Skilled Nursing Unit. That's why there's so many names. That's I was, correct. I was That's seeing correct. that on the website. Yeah. You guys have a lot of options. We do. We are a whole continuum of care. And that is why you call it a campus, too. Correct. That's correct. very cool. Yes. So tell us about the Get Thinking program that's offered at Kobernick House. Sure. So next week, we're starting a Get Thinking class, which is put on by Smart Moves, our wellness component on campus. And what it is, it's a cognitive linguistic stabilization program that helps support memory, mental flexibility, problem solving, and attention. Mm -hmm. And we're utilizing it right now on campus for people in the community to come in. I'm teaching oh. it. As so a, it's not just for the residents? Not just for the residents, but the community at large. We're oh, wow. starting there. And it's for people who, it talks about the normal aging process and what's the difference between the normal aging process and memory, and also um, some mild cognitive impairment and some clues to look out for for maybe someone who's not going down the normal path of memory and aging. Being so tired all the time, I feel like I might need to come there and have and go through this class with you right now when you're talking about it, I'm like, oh no. Well, good sleeping habits does promote good cognition. That's that is one what of I the class. Heard. That's class number five. Oh, is it? Yes. All right. And you're gonna be teaching these, so you yes, know. Absolutely. You know these. Um, okay, so it is open to the public, so other people can come in besides the residents there. Correct. And do you offer other programs focused on brain health? We do have a continuum of brain health on campus. Get thinking is kind of on one end of the spectrum. And it goes through um, cognitive linguistic therapy that I can provide through skilled speech therapy. Um, also, other we have a DACUM 
computer technology where residents can utilize it. It's kind of like a luminosity, but it's called DACUM, and they can support their cognition that way. Lots of exercise and wellness classes on the independent living side. And then as people might progress to the assisted living where they might need more memory support, we do have our memory support assisted living, and there we have a multi-sensory room, which is more for people who have diagnosis of dementia or mild oh. cognitive impairment. And we utilize special LED lights and different sensory in input and integration to help increase memory and um, support and cognition. So the bright colors and everything that I've seen in the photos and the right. lights and everything, how, right. does, how does that help? Does it just stimulate <clears throat> the brain? Well, there's two different ways. It can either be used to stimulate somebody who might have low arousal or very lethargic. We might put on some greens or reds to really stimulate thinking. With the lights, we utilize essential oils for sense and mm -hmm. um, put on something really alerting like a peppermint to increase cognition or to increase appetite. Huh. And then it's kind of the other end of the spectrum too when someone might be over agitated or over stimulated. We like to put on things that are more cooling like a blue light, a, a picture of the beach with nice sounds, uh -huh. um, a swing to help with proprioception knowing where your body is in space to decrease the agitation and maybe just wow. increase a sense of wellness. That is a lot of detail it for is. It what is. to think about for each person. I bet that's catered very individually. It's, it's an individualized care plan, absolutely. Wow, that is, that's actually really cool. It my, is neat. My grandpa is 92, and he's, having, he's in a memory home right now. Okay. Because he, he can't really t can't keep up with today. Sure. But he definitely keeps up with the past very, very well. Sure. Um, so why is it so important for people to keep their brains healthy and engaged? Well, I, I truly feel that at every level, someone can be engaged and keep healthy and use strategies at home so they can maintain where they are. You yes, know, the whole, I don't want to go yes, backwards. <laughs> no. So the whole theory is to maintain where you're living, mm -hmm. to utilize strategies, possibly medications if that's what people's physicians feel is included, and to, to really help enjoy life, have a sense of wellness, and maintain where you are so you can be with family or, um, you know, whatever you choose. So if someone is interested in attending one of these classes, sure. how can they get more information about that? Well, they can call the number 225-8369 mm -hmm. or like us on Facebook, Kobernick Anchin Benderson, um, and look on our website as well, and we can put them in the correct place where they need to speak to. It sounds whatever. like there's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. Whoever you know, they need to connect with, we can definitely help that. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. It all you. sounds very, very interesting. It is. Come check it out. And next on Suncoast FYI, get excited, Chocoholics. We're taking a field trip to sample some treats for an upcoming chocolate tasting event. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. I'm Cassie Nall. For our field trip this week, we're at Pastries by Design in Lakewood Ranch. They're one of more than 30 restaurants and vendors that are going to be bringing the best of their chocolate creations to an event happening on Sunday, March 8th. It's called Chocolate Sunday and Food Festival at Michael's on East. And joining me now are Kate the Cake Maker here at Pastries by Design, or Cake Decorator, I should say, and the Oni owner, <laughs> Sandy Byers. So welcome to, well I should say I'm welcoming myself into your own uh, bakery here. Welcome. So tell me what you guys are making here. Uh, we're working on two of our most popular flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm working on is a chocolate turtle cupcake. We start with a chocolate cupcake, we fill it with a dolce de leche, and then we top it with a caramel buttercream, and then garnish it with uh, chocolate ganache and a candied pecan. Wow, that was perfectly done by the way. Thank you. That was beautiful. Yeah. Look at that technique. That's awesome. And it smells just as good as it looks, folks. If I could give the smell to you through the camera, I absolutely would. It smells delicious. And what are you making, Sandy? I'm making a white chocolate raspberry cupcake. It's a white cupcake with a raspberry filling, a white chocolate buttercream. Oh my goodness. And it even looks beautiful the way you're doing it with like a flower. With a flower on top, yes. So of course, these both incorporate chocolate, which is the point of the event. And now I'm going to bring in Leia May. She is from UCP of Southwest Florida, which is United Cerebral Palsy. So welcome here to the, to the bakery. Thank you. Thank you. This is, it does smell so good in here. It really does. We've been mm -hmm. asking a ton of questions about how to make all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So what charity does Chocolate Sunday and Food Festival benefit? I've probably already given it away. Yes, <laughs> United Cerebral Palsy of Southwest Florida. And we serve adults with disabilities. We have 125 people that we serve right now, actually over 125 people. We have um, eight group homes in the community and a day training center. Oh my goodness, and so this will be very helpful to you. This will be very, very helpful, yes. We're, we're very grateful for um, support from the community and just to, you know, 
support UCP. So, and one of the best ways to do that is to come out to Michael's on East on Sunday, March 8th, 8th. Yes. and try all of these wonderful creations. Tell me yes. a little bit about this event. So the event, okay, so we're going to have over 30 restaurants. The VIP starts at 1 o'clock and um, then we have general admission at 1.30 and the event goes until 3.30. Oh my goodness, it, sound, it sounds like it's going to be a delicious day. It is going to be a delicious day. It is every year. So what are the ticket prices? The ticket prices are $20 for general admission, $30 for VIP, $10 for kids, and then five and under are free. So what is the VIP? What does that entail? The VIP, you get in 30 minutes early, which so you is, get to taste yes, test you get to taste us everything before everybody else comes in. So oh, that's that nice. nice. And um, so how many people are you expecting? Because you've done this event before. Right. We're expecting between 800 to 1,000 people. Holy smokes. Yes. So the people need to get their tickets in advance. They, they, they actually can buy their tickets at the door. It's $25 at the door for general admission. VIP is only um, advanced sale. But, um, but you can buy your tickets at the door. So what kind of what kind of treats have you had in the last couple of years there that were your favorite? Oh, some of my favorite cupcakes. I absolutely <laughs> cupcakes. love cupcakes. Yes, they are delicious. And we've learned from Pastries by Design here that cupcakes are, let's see, we said best served at room temperature. These are some of the facts that we've learned. And buttercream frosting is indeed okay to stay out. It's okay. It doesn't need to necessarily be yes. refrigerated for a little while, right? Yes. So are these the only two that you guys are bringing to the event or do you have another one up your sleeve? Uh, we'll probably have several more up our sleeves for the okay, day so of the event. Time to yes. figure it out though because we have about another week and a half or so until the event actually comes and then that's when you're going to need to check this event out. Again, it's at Michael's on East, right? Yes. Sunday? March 8th. March 8th. Where can people go for more information? www.ucpsarasota.com or they can call 941-348-9039. All right. Well, thanks very much for letting me Thank into you. your lovely bakery here today. And thanks so much for joining us as well, Leah. Thank you. And we'll be right back on Suncoast FYI. That's our show for today. And thanks so much for joining us. If you would like to promote your business or event on Suncoast FYI, just call our sales department at 941-361-4223. I'm Cassie Nall, and we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.